Hello everyone, welcome back to Technology Moments. We continue testing smart devices for you, of course, on our way to the smart home that many of us want. Also that convenience that allows us to program actions without us being home. I'm Alan from Technology Moments and we finally decided to start testing more smart devices like these smart blind openers since they're finally available to everyone and their prices have dropped significantly. This particular model for opening or closing blinds operated by ropes. Well, not only did we install it, but we used it for a couple months giving it normal daily use. We've liked it very much and the convenience of being able to schedule times to open them and of course preventing them from being left open at night can be very useful for many. In addition to being very easy to install, I would like to point out important aspects that many of us may find very useful. Before continuing what we get in the box, and this is a model that is very popular, either you get it from Amazon that sometimes is unavailable and we'll leave some links in the description for some alternatives. It's basically the bracket, the motor or driver, the 12 volt 1 amp power adapter, adhesive tape that is very useful in some particular cases and drilling templates as well as the necessary gears for the different types of curtain ropes on the market. The important thing after we install it very easily using the template as a guide so that we have the appropriate length is to correctly choose which one of the gears we're gonna use. So we might want to check this very carefully by simulating the motion that pulls the rope. For this particular model of zebra blinds, this one worked perfectly. After securing it to the wall with a single anchor in this case and the help of the included tape, we discovered that the unit has a fantastic mechanism to adjust it to the proper rope tension. It could damage the rope or gear if we tension it excessively or not enough. It is very important to note here that as a safety feature, the unit will not respond to the controller or the app until we have programmed the limits for fully open and fully closed binds. You can make the unit learn this function by following the instructions. This is something very common in this type of devices and the only objective is to prevent the motor, which can have a very good torque, from damaging the blinds. To program these limits, we open the blinds to their highest position by pressing the up button, press the stop button until the light flashes, then the down button until it reaches the lowest position, and then again the stop button. Highest and lowest positions is a parameter that you can always reprogram even if the unit has already been installed. The remote control, as it works by radio frequency, must be paired with the main unit. You can pair it by pressing the stop button more than 5 seconds, which enters pairing mode, then press the up button in the remote control and we will notice that the main unit responds to the frequencies of the three buttons of the remote control. This unit connects directly to the Wi-Fi. It doesn't need any additional device like other models that need some gateways like the ones most smart locks use. We noticed that it is powerful enough for large curtains. It works with the Tuya Smart app or with the Smart Life app. You can use the one that you like. We open the app, look for Wi-Fi curtains, provide the network ID and password and verify that it is in pairing mode. If it is not, as in this case, we press and hold the up and stop button at the same time until the lights flash. We confirm in the application the mode in which lights are blinking and in a few seconds it will be added. In this case it is very important to change the default name of blinds controller, for example to room blinds, living blinds, so that when it is commanded from Alexa it acts on the corresponding device. As for the interaction with Alexa, it is really simple after activating the skill in the Alexa app. We did not actually find a way to operate it from our Echo Show devices graphically, but only from their app. Voice interaction works perfectly. We can also say something like Alexa, blind at 15% and it works perfectly. Please note that these instructions work for the particular model that we have linked in the description of this video. Ok guys, thank you very much for watching. The idea with this video is to show exactly what you get, sharing the experience that we had with this particular device, so if you are wondering which smart device to buy, you can make an informed decision. See you next time.